Anchors up, sells it full. Welcome to the Sloopcast. How are you doing today, Kyle? Doing all right, Jared. Doing all right. How are you doing today? Doing all right, Kyle. We, we have no time to screw around today. It's a new tradition. It's a good tradition. Chaos was busy. Chaos was on fire. Chaos was on fire tonight with a lot, a lot of upsets over the weekend. Too many to count here. So let's just, let's just go ahead and jump right I, into it. I, here. Was it six top 25 losses? No, let's, I guess Jared's bringing it up. We Missouri got a count. Lost. Missouri lost. Louisville lost. Um, I'm just going, I'm just going one by one here. Alabama lost. Michigan lost. Tennessee lost. USC lost. UNLV lost. Seven. Seven. You also, um, almost eight, almost eight. Well, and let me, state. and let me point out undefeated James Madison lost undefeated mm-hmm. Rutgers lost yep undefeated UNLV lost Been these teams yeah. weren't ranked but they were undefeated and well, UNLV I, I mentioned UNLV was oh, ranked my bad that's fine point is uh and you know because we have to place a group of five team quote unquote my they're not my gophers but quote unquote my gophers won uh but but those but a lot of those teams UNLV James Madison will affect our depth chart a lot because we do need a group of five team we do in the top 12 we do all right let's let's pull up our let's pull up our rankings here Jared Let's do that. But first, uh, Collegiate Chaos, all three of us hit. See, when Chaos does its job, it makes our job a lot easier. Excuse me, Chaos Theory. Thank you, Austin. Pull up the Chaos Theory scoreboard. All three of us hit. Kyle and I got 16 points each. Uh, Esquire got four points. He mistakenly, and it, he mistaken he mistakenly um called the Missouri loss except that Texas A&M was also top 25 they were literally 25th yeah. literally tied for 25th so he had to change his prediction at the last second but just to it doesn't count on the scoreboard but just to give Esquire some flowers like he did correctly call that upset he did yeah they were 26, and we all know it. I agree, Austin. But the score, the scoreboard doesn't. I, I don't know what to tell you. All right, Kyle, now, now let's get to our tier list. Oh, wait a minute. Look, you're still in the lead for the salute picks. That would yeah. be... Well, actually, it's the guest pickers are, are in the, the guest lead. Are. Yes. But I'm beating you, which is which is honestly what matters. Yeah, that's fine. That's not, fine. Not a... Not a you know the a, a chaos rich week a chaos rich week difficult sentence um good for the chaos theory scoreboard not i mean it wasn't terrible for the sloop pick scoreboard but Kyle and I each go 3 and 4 esquire goes 4 and 3 now do the over unders um if you if you point if you put the results down in the chat i will do that actually uh Austin, let's handle that on, let's handle that on, uh, know your enemy. Cause this is our national focus show. We'll do that on Tuesday. All right. Let's go, All right. Let's go pull up our, our ratings here. All right. Here. All right. Ohio state, Texas took care of business this weekend here. Uh, if you want to hear us about talking about the Ohio state game, listen to our Monday episode here. Texas one, as I just mentioned, Georgia, one as well. Uh, not 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 in a, not in a uh, good way that we th- think that Georgia should have won. They they struggled for most of the game against Auburn there, but I I still think that they should be well. Maybe, maybe we can have a discussion about that here this year. But Alabama, Alabama with a 
pretty bad loss. Let, let's just let's not sugarcoat it. It's it's a pretty bad loss for, to a Vanderbilt team who lost to Georgia State. For, just just for the record, Texas didn't play this week. That's right. You're right. I was thinking yeah, yeah, of the. Yeah. Yep, you're right. That's okay. Um. So obviously Ohio State, Texas stays. Georgia, you think Georgia in our in our ratings here, Jared stays in the S tier. Listen, we we already gave you some flowers, Esquire. You were you were robbed. Um, I mean, do you want to talk about Georgia for? Or are we are we just assuming we're dropping Bama? Is that an assumption? Yeah, I would say so. Yeah, I, I agree, saw. but I just think it feels like a. And there's there's a lot more. I mean, yes, the big thing is that Alabama lost to Vanderbilt first first time in forty years. Definitely, that's the highlight of there. But there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff that's been coming up from that game that's throwing a lot of concern here. Like the leadership on the field there. Yeah, is is. I don't know who number forward. thirteen was, but he was throwing a total temper uh, tantrum at the end of the game. That's Malaki. Um, uh, more one of okay. the captains for the defense. Oh, that's one of the captains. Mm-hmm. That's why I said. Yeah. That's why I said this is this is a big big issue here. So what's 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 the coach uh, DeBoer going to do here? Is he is he going to suspend him? Like send a message here, or just let it slide? Like it's it, it's a, that's a big issue. Like it, it wasn't just he threw a tamper tantrum one or two plays. Like he. He cost the he cost the team multiple personal fouls in that game just with his temper tantrum there. That's at a certain point. That's on a the, lot more issues going. A lot more issues going on with this Alabama team. At a certain point, that's the coach's fault for not pulling him. I mean, it's also correct. the player's fault. I'm not correct. I'm not defending the player. It's all. I don't want to. It's also the coach's fault. Is the better way of saying that. Mm-hmm, at a certain correct. point, that's also the coach's fault. Um. So yeah, we're, we're we're dropping Bama down to A. That's a given. Mm-hmm. Georgia, Georgia, what about Georgia. They did beat Auburn, uh, thirty-one to thirteen this weekend here, but don't let that score fool you. It was, it was close. It was yeah. close. I mean, you could say the same thing with Ohio State and Iowa. The game was close at halftime too. So, sure. Yeah, but if you actually watch that, if you actually watch the Ohio State game. I, it wasn't all that close. Like Ohio State, I understand it was only seven points at halftime. I I get that. I understand that. But Ohio State was totally dominant. Uh, mm-hmm. If you look at every other stat on the scoreboard, well, except for turnovers, which is partially how you get into that trouble. You know. You know. Anyway, we're not talking about Ohio State. Yep. Um. Georgia. So let's let's leave Georgia. Let's leave Georgia there for right now. Let, let's do this. Let's leave Georgia there. Let's yeah. look at the other teams to see there's, if there's anybody else that we think that we can move up to S tier. So S tier is who we believe is going to be the favorites to win it all here. I still think Georgia has a one of the best uh, best teams in terms of personnel yeah. in the country here that can that can win it all. So talent, purely talent wise. Georgia is in the top three with Ohio State and Texas. That that's a that's a given. Uh, I don't think they're putting it there. There there's there's still issues there as far as execution and discipline and all the other things that need to happen sure. to win a national title. Focus and leadership and yada yada yada. Um, but. And to answer your other question, Kyle, the only team I would consider moving up into S tier is Oregon. Yep. Um, and one of the reasons why I think that's at least a conversation, we kind of dogged them for having a close game against Boise. Well, we now understand, maybe we didn't understand at the time, that Boise is actually really good. Um, can we officially put uh, Michigan and M we can have that conversation not right now but we will we'll have that conversation um but I, I 
can can we move Georgia's the only team I even want to entertain a conversation of entering S tier. No one else, in my opinion, gets that conversation. Georgia S tier, Kyle. What do you think? I th- I think they're saying S tier. I what stay? I think it? That, you mean yep, move to S tier? I think stay? they stay in S tier. No, did I say Georgia? Yes. Oh, my bad. Oregon. Yeah, Georgia stays. Oregon. What do we do with Oregon? Um, one of the, again, one of the reasons why we moved them it's... down was that they, you know, had a really bad game against Boise. They had a slow start to the year. They didn't look too crisp at the beginning of the year. Um, well, they, they look dominant. They look dominant against Michigan State. Yeah, they, they've looked better recently. And again, one of the games mm-hmm. we dogged them for, but... for looking not great in was Boise. And I don't think we knew how good Boise was at the time. Fair, fair. Um, I'm fine. I'm fine with this week putting Oregon in, in S tier here. Uh, but I, man, I don't want to be fine with the, it. We're, we're literally calling them a favorite to win it all. I, I think it should be, uh, if, if your, if your opinion is I'm fine with it, then we shouldn't do it. You, you I think we should be pounding the table to move them into S tier to move them into S tier. So, and I'm not, and you just say that you're fine. Does S tier need to be four? No, no. Uh, S and A just needs to equal 12. Um, So we can absolutely leave it at three. If we had a mandate of four teams in S tier, we had to move Oregon up already. Wouldn't even be right, talking about it. Yeah, no, you, you convinced me. Let's keep, let's keep Oregon in A tier. Like, Honestly, this game, similar to like like the Ohio State Iowa game, this game should should have been a lot higher scoring, a lot of turnovers in the red zone there by Oregon, a lot of them. We're getting definitely 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 something to look out for uh, this next weekend when Ohio State comes to visit. So we're I'm fine, getting I'm fine with Oregon staying where they're at. In okay, we're getting some uh, feedback in the chat that if if. Oregon doesn't deserve to be S tier than Georgia doesn't either. And are they wrong? Do you want to beat the table to say that Georgia belongs in S tier? Hmm. I'm thinking. I know I, they I know could win it all, but are they a enough. favorite to win it all? Would you call Georgia a favorite to win it all this year? Man, I, you know, yes, they have that one loss to Alabama, and and now that loss looks bad because of Alabama's loss to to Vanderbilt here. But man, like that that comeback, like Alabama, looking back a few weeks ago, Alabama, those first four drives just scored and just yeah, put put Georgia on their heels. But you saw the way Georgia responded, came back, took the lead. Yeah. Could have won that at the end there. And we'd be talking completely different where, oh, Georgia is the number one team. Georgia is the number one team. Look look how they came back for 28 sure. points and all of that too. But they, you, you can see that there against, against Alabama, still a really good team. Being able to come back 28 down to take the lead there, they have, they have what it takes to, to win it all. So I, all right. I feel comfortable keeping them in S tier. I understand where people are, where the chat here is saying that Oregon doesn't, then then uh, Georgia doesn't either. I understand. I understand your side of it, but I, I just look at what I've seen from the teams so far here. I, I want to side with chat. I want to move it. I want. They lost a game against a team that has major questions, defensively speaking, at least. I say okay. we drop them. All right. Well, I mean, it's two against one, so. <laughs> All right. We're dropping Georgia. We're, we're here. We, we've made it here. <laughs> <laughs> God, right. why, we've given the chat too much power. Oregon. Um, Oregon's they're going to think they're here. people. Oregon 
we staying in A tier? As Absolutely. We mentioned? Penn State. Penn State. Penn Listen, State. Penn State, among some other teams this week, I'm looking at you, Miami, chose a really good week to look bad but not lose because they just aren't the topic of conversation. Penn State had a bad week. Miami had a worse week, but they won. Um, And that just doesn't... It doesn't hit the meter this week because so many other teams lost. Penn State has some big issues on on this offense here. I agree. They, they struggle. They struggle to run the ground under three yards per carry against UCLA, who's newsflash: UCLA is not that good of a team. And Chip Kelly Drew chose Aller, to be an offensive Chip, coordinator yeah. instead of head coaching that football team. And Drew and Drew Aller struggles throwing the ball deep. Like this, this is. This is big. This is a I, big problem for Penn State. I think his wide receivers struggle to get open. They they, they have wide. Yeah. I, I I'm a Drew I'm a Drew Aller apologist. Sue me, but I think they have wide receiver issues in my opinion more than Fair. Drew Aller. Anyway, um, Fair. but yeah, not going to drop them by any means. Not this week. Very revealing right. about yep. Julian Fleming. Yeah, yep. James Franklin right. issues. You're not wrong. All right, next one here, Boise State took care of business against Utah State, 62 to 30. Heisman leader in Gentry Heisman, right now. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yes, absolutely. He is he is a monster. Uh Ashton. Like if he if he played all like all four quarters in every game here, yeah. he'd be he'd be like 1300 yards. He and he's he's over a thousand yards right now. Yeah, I agree. Uh, BYU still our Big Twelve favorite. Yes. I, I mean, sure. Yeah. Uh, I'm, they I'm, didn't I'm look, play I'm this week. I don't think. 12. Right. I'm trying to look at the Big Twelve here. Where's the Big Twelve here? Uh, so your undefeated Big Twelve teams in conference is Texas Tech, BYU, Iowa State. You, you, I always state um, you can make an argument for that. Colorado and West Virginia. Those are your, and those are your um, five undefeated conference uh, in conference teams. We might need to have conference. an Oklahoma State M tier conversation, by the way, but that's for later. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, Wait, that's, uh, yeah. That's so BYU, I'm, I, I'm, I agree. I think BYU is the favorite right now. I mean, Iowa State may have you could have a conversation with that but to me i think byu at this point yeah and we do have iowa state in in the b tier right now we probably want to move some other big 12 teams up into b tier but that's a later conversation um notre dame was on a bye yeah they stayed where they're at god such a man texas byu notre dame picked a great week to take off they did Miami. miami miami like penn state had a shitty week their week was shittier than Penn State's acknowledged. That's a great week to have a shitty week, though, and survive. Like, yes, you just no one's going to talk about you. Everyone's talking about the teams that lost. I. We could have a conversation. About replacing them with Clemson. But quite yeah. frankly. A 13 or a 29 to 13 win over Florida State is surprisingly damaging. Mm-hmm. It's weird to say that about Florida, about a game against Florida State, but it's like, dang, Clemson, you only beat Florida State 29 to 13. Yeah. Um, but I'm, I'm, I think I'm going to leave, I think I want to leave it Miami instead of Clemson in A tier right now. For our That's ACC fine. representative, right. um, then comes the. Big Although we still might move here. Clemson up yeah. because we well, may or may not be yeah. moving a couple other teams out of A tier. But before we get to that, we're going to take our our first ad break here. Um, check us out at thesluthcast dot com, uh, where you can find all of our links, lovely links here. Thank you, Jared. Uh, such as our uh, Discord, discord.thesloopcast.com, 
as well as our YouTube page, youtube.thesoupcast.com, where you can, um, where you can support us, you can watch us. Um, also, merch.thesoupcast.com, if you want to purchase some merchandise from from us as well. Um, you can check, check all of that stuff. So if you're not sure where this all, all of the at, if I can talk, <laughs> just just remember thesoupcast.com. It'll bring you to all the links that you uh, that you need to from there. Uh, so, yeah. Anything else, Jerry? Uh, here are those ad breaks now. And we're back. All right. All right. So this is this is the big this is the big thing here. This is the big question mark after on our list here. We have Miami, then a bunch of bunch of question marks here. We moved Alabama down from S tier to A tier. Uh with Alabama's loss to Vanderbilt, which do, do you want to get into that game? <laughs> or just leave it at as is. Uh we well, we don't have time to deep dive specific games, I don't think. I think Kyle, we just did our first ad break and we're not even through A tier yet. All right, fair enough. Missouri Missouri losing to Texas A&M 41 to 10. Now, I have some questions here. Like okay. I know I know the AP and the coaches poll doesn't matter and all that there, but Alabama loses to Vanderbilt. Sure. Vanderbilt. Yeah. Who's I'm sorry. And I, I know and, I know and, that and, they're the I know that they're the SEC whipping boy, but they actually are not a bad football team this year. And they go down and they go down by six. Okay, Un, unranked two loss Vanderbilt, and they go down six spots. Okay. Missouri loses to a ranked team and they go down twelve spots. And they're and this is their first loss. This is their first loss, by the way, too. And sure. They go down twelve spots, all the way down to twenty first. Okay, but they did get clobbered. It, all right, so let, let me defend the AP. Okay. Missouri didn't lose. Missouri got run off the field. They got humiliated again. All right, they, they got humiliated. Well, you can say Alabama got humiliated by uh, they, they, they lost Vanderbilt. by five points. They lost by five points. By Vanderbilt. I don't care. That's a humiliation. It's, no. That's humiliation on its own. No, it's not. Vanderbilt is not a bad football team this year. This is, stop it. This is I, I know that Vanderbilt beating Alabama is a huge deal, but I think people are really exaggerating how big of a deal it is. It was only they were 20 point favorites, which is a big upset, don't get me wrong. But people are throwing around comparisons to Appy State. Get the f out of here. Yes, they lost to Georgia Southern or Georgia State. I know. I know, but again, it was, it was, they were 20 point favorites that this is, it's a bad loss. Don't get me wrong. I'm not defending Alabama here, but people are being really hyperbolic about how bad this upset was. A, a Texas right, A&M Missouri. beat Missouri by 31 points and it could have been worse. All right, fair. All right, Missouri moved down to. Do we move them all the way to C tier, or do you want to just no. put them into B tier because it is their one loss? No, we can put them into B tier. Okay. What about Tennessee? Tennessee lost to Arkansas in Fayetteville. Mm -hmm. uh, name an SEC team that does not mark Vanderbilt as a W at the beginning of the season. Well, Bama did. How'd that turn out for him? Tennessee. Um, Arkansas is a team that's played a bunch of teams close this year. Arkansas is not a bad football team. But, man, it kind of feels like Tennessee's offense got exposed bad in this football game. It did. Um, quarterback's not everything he's been hyped up to be. The offensive line is vulnerable. Um. All right, so let's do that. Let's do this. Let's move Tennessee far to the right. Let's okay. move Tennessee all the way to the right of A tier. Okay. Okay. 
Now, how many teams do we have in total? One, yeah, two, 10, three, so four, five, well, six, 11. seven, eight, nine, ten, not counting Tennessee. Yeah, ten, not, counting, not Tennessee. counting Tennessee. So the question is, who, you know, first off, we have to move someone up to replace Missouri. <laughs> I, yeah, and right now I'm saying we're keeping Tennessee in A tier because I'm struggling to find one okay. team to m replace Missouri, quite frankly. I got two teams here, Jared. You have two teams. Okay, I'm listening. First one is Iowa State. Okay. Undefeat, undefeated Iowa State goes beat, up to A tier. They beat Iowa. Mm -hmm. Undefeated. Who are their W's? Who uh, are just, the Iowa State they just, W's? They just um, beat Baylor 43 to 21. Okay. They shut out Houston the week before. Houston's pretty and, bad this year. Yeah, and they dominated uh, Arkansas State the week before that. Arkansas State is pretty bad. N no offense, but they haven't. I mean, they did beat Iowa. There's something to be said about that. Um, I mean, that's essentially Ohio State's schedule. I'll just I'll just say that. Uh, yeah, but how you? Let's compare how they beat <laughs> Iowa. Fair, fair. <laughs> fair. But that's that's one team I have here. Okay. And the second team here. Yeah. They've re they've really turned it around, and as much as I don't want to put them up in A tier, I... Clemson. I would say Clemson. Man, if they had My beat Florida State more convincingly, I'd have already moved them up and we wouldn't even be having a conversation about it right now. Um, Indiana? Indiana doesn't have a defense. I think the second Indiana faces an actual... I, I like... Here's the thing. I know Indiana has, like, one of the best scoring... I think... Does Indiana have the best scoring team in the are they the best scoring team in the country right now i thought i heard something like that this weekend i like illinois more than i like indiana quite frankly I indiana is just playing like a big 12 team indiana's i know they're undefeated and i know illinois isn't i acknowledge that as well i think illinois is a more complete football team than than indiana So I'm I'm just calling this right now. I'm leaving Tennessee. I I think there's not a lot of teams to replace them with, and I hear you on Iowa State. I don't disagree. Um, Ole Miss is still a good football team despite their loss last week. Um. Illinois, I think, is a decent football team. Indiana's a lot of fun, but man, their defense is garbage. Um, Esquire says Indiana's the third highest scoring mm -hmm. offense, one ahead of us. There you go. Oh, scoring. Yeah, they they their offense is a ton of fun. They 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 don't play any defense though. I mean, Northwestern scored twenty four on them this weekend. Um. Terms of terms of offensive touchdowns, they're number th one. Yeah, I think that's the stat I heard that they were they had offensive the most yep. offensive yep, touchdowns. They have, they have thirty-eight offensive touchdowns. Miami has thirty-seven, followed by Ole Miss thirty-four, Boise State thirty-one, Alabama thirty-one, Texas and Ohio State with thirty. Okay. I think we have to have a conversation about LSU Clemson. Potentially Ole Miss, Ole Miss, that. Missouri, maybe Utah, maybe Oklahoma. Not Missouri. Excuse me. I did. Did I say Missouri? I didn't mean to say you Missouri. B, uh, BYU, or we have BYU up there. Yeah. Uh, Utah. I, I think Utah is what I meant to say instead of Missouri. They're right next to each other in our chart. Yeah, so, so I think. So I think the teams that we have. Picking three of these teams, Tennessee, Ole Miss, Clemson, Iowa State, LSU, and Utah. 
I'm going to say this. I don't want any of these teams to replace Tennessee. I agree. Okay. Uh, okay. So we agree on that. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, so one my team. Suggestion is, my suggestion is Clemson and Iowa State. Well, it would be Clemson or Iowa State, right? If we're keeping Tennessee up there. You're right. Yeah. So. Yeah, because it was two teams if we dropped Tennessee. I'm, 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 it was one team yeah, if we didn't right. drop Tennessee. You're right. Yep, you're right. You're right. You're yeah, right. yeah. Yep. I would say Iowa State. Undefeated. Undefeated Iowa State. Okay. I, I We've talked about it for too long, so I'm just, I'm going with what you said. Um, All right. Iowa State won their big out-of-conference game. This is a fact. Um, I don't think they've played any of the really good Big 12 teams yet, though. That that's my one hesitation they, with Iowa State play, right now. They play West Virginia this weekend. See, there you go. That's you may, they might have a short stay in A because West Virginia actually not bad. Didn't see that coming. Uh, speaking yeah. of which, let, I I think well no we need to we need to knock some teams out of B tier first. We'll get we'll we'll get to you Mountaineers. I promise. I promise you Mountaineers. We'll get there. Um, is there anyone in? Uh, yeah, there's a lot of teams in B tier to move down. I think all of these teams are safe. Um, five teams currently in B tier that need to at least have a conversation about demoting. We have Louisville, James Madison, UNLV, USC, and Michigan. Iowa State has a great collection of skill talent, weirdly. I Listen... Wake me up when they play West Virginia, Utah, Kansas State, BYU, the other really good Big 12 yeah. teams. All right. To me, UNLV goes down to C tier. Like, yeah. They need a lot of help. and they're, They don't get that automatic bid. They There's teams ahead of them like, like Notre Dame. Um, I don't believe Notre Dame counts for the automatic bid. The automatic Boise State. The automatic bid is for a conference champion. Notre Dame's playing for an at-large at it. That's it. Okay. So the rule is the top five conference champions. It used to be the conference champions of, and then they listed out the power five conferences after the PAC 12 fell apart. Mm -hmm. They changed the language to simply say the top five conference champions. I mean, at that it's Boise state. Is what we have. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. List there, so. Bo- Boise State's yep. my favorite so you, so group of yep, five team right now. Goes down to C tier then. A hundred percent. Are are we doing the same thing to James Madison? Yes. Yes. Bye bye. Bull monarchs, bulldogs. Mm-hmm. I don't. I don't know what they are. Um, I think they're the monarchs. I don't think I made that up. What about Louisville? Louisville's a good conversation. The Dukes? They, they are, they, are they the Dukes? Two, Someone Google it. Not Kyle. He's busy. <laughs> Lou, Lou, this is two weeks in a row that Louisville's lost. They went from A to B. Do they go down to C tier? This is their first... Well, they only have one... Yeah, this is their first loss in conference. So That's technically extra damning. They're still alive. They're, technically, they're still alive here, but... Yeah. I mean, good news for them is that they play in the ACC. Um... The bad news is, as Kyle points out, this was actually a conference loss. Um, You have both Miami and Clemson, who are both perfect in overall and conference schedules. So let's stick with the let's stick with the ACC for a second here, please. Mentioned Clemson and Miami. I know you don't want to. They are the. I know you don't want to. I know you don't want to hear this though, but. I think SMU has to be moved up to B tier. Kyle, if you take a look at the chart, for the YouTube people looking at the chart, I set aside eight teams to the far left of C tier. One of them's Mm -hmm. SMU. I don't know why you said, I know you don't want to hear this. I literally already have them on deck. (laughs) And also, I don't have West Virginia over there for some reason. I forgot about the Mountaineers. So let's make that nine teams on deck for conversations about B tier. So SMU, I think SMU should go up. 
I don't disagree I, with you at this point. Another team who's undefeated or well, hold on. one loss. Hold on. We're not talking about C tier yet. Now, I know. Uh, are we just talking about the ACC? Is that how we're structuring I, it? I, I, Screw yeah, it. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm yes, doing, go ahead. You said I'm that. My apologies. ACC. My apologies. Let's just what, talk about the ACC. One loss, one loss out of conference. They're still undefeated in conference. What about the Cavaliers of Virginia? Didn't see this conversation happening at any point this year. Uh, that's I do. I don't like. Do I do I like that logo? Elite JMU logo. That when did they stop using that? I think I like that more than the than the full bulldog that they currently use. Um, bring it back. I don't disagree. It looks like a sailor hat logo, except it's a crown. I'm down for it. I'm 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 in. <laughs> So um, Virginia, thoughts Virginia. on Virginia? Who? What's what? What's their what's their schedule? What's their resulting schedule? Who have they beat? They beat who have they Wa- lost to? They beat Wake Forest. They lost to Maryland. They beat Coastal Carolina, and they just beat Boston College. They have upcoming this weekend against Louisville, and then Clemson after that. So they beat Boston College, which is good. They lost to Maryland, and that's Maryland's kind of bad. That, that's that's their. That's their out of conf- that's their out of conference, which is why I said they're they're undefeated in conference here. So here's what I'm gonna do for I'm you. Fine, I'm fine. I'm fine. Ca- I'm, I'm fine keeping them I'm, in C tier, but I'm gonna move them to the left of C tier. Okay. Maybe we'll talk about fine. them again next week. I'm not moving them up to B tier at this time. The the only other one that I feel that we should talk about in in ACC here. The the second the. The only second team undefeated in, in ACC next to Miami. Well, you, and that's Pittsburgh. Well, Clemson's undefeated in ACC. Well, let me rephrase that. Undefeated overall. Yes. I think I said Clemson was undefeated overall earlier, which is not true. They are just undefeated in the ACC, to be clear. Yep. Um, Pittsburgh. Yep, Pittsburgh. They've only played one game in conference, but they are 5-0. and oh. I do have Pittsburgh in the on deck position. Um, I think at this point you do. You, you put them up in B tier. Yeah, and they beat they beat West Virginia, which beat, at what? that time, or Pitt won that game, right? I'm I'm yeah. not making that up. Okay, at the time I don't think we knew that that was an impressive win. But West Virginia has mm-hmm. actually proven themselves to be pretty decent. Yeah, Pitt won the brawl. Yeah, backyard brawl. Mm-hmm. Um, and then they just and then they just beat North Carolina this last weekend. North Carolina's hot garbage this year. Mm-hmm. Um, Agreed. I I think Pitt undefeated. I think uh, deserves to be up in B tier. Yeah, I think we're at the point this point in the season. If you're a Power Five team and you're undefeated, I I, I don't want to say it's an auto bid to B tier, but it's not not an auto bid. <laughs> All right, Kyle, ACC. The, I think our last okay. ACC conversation to have is Louisville. Do are do I, they I, stay in B tier or do we drop them to C tier? Honestly, I'd say drop them to C. I agree. I'd say drop them to C. Two straight losses? Yep. I agree. All right, and the two teams here, uh, let's let's move on to the Big Ten then. Because uh, those last two teams SMU B tier, we already moved SMU up to B tier. Unless you're yeah. asking, did you actually do that? In which case, yes, yes, we did. Mm-hmm. Uh, the other two teams to talk about in our D tier here, Jared, both of them in the Big Ten, and that's Michigan and USC. Oof. Michigan and USC. I'm dropping USC. I'm just saying that right now. Minnesota's not good this year. Oh, because I was thinking a loss to a fellow B tier team may be grounds for lowering. Um, we just moved SMU up to B tier. Oh, excuse me. May not. May not be grounds for lowering. Yeah, Louisville lost two in a row, uh, especially in regards to the ACC, where I think winning the conference might be a necessity to get in. Losing conference games for ACC teams is a big deal. Like, they might get one at-large team. Maybe. Mm. 
where we're just we're being extra uh, harsh on well you know uh, anyway yeah let's let's go back USC yes I get USC yeah. goes down Minnesota to, goes sucks down to C tier Minnesota's to not a good C-tier. football team this year it nah and by the way their other loss with its two conference losses the other yes. one was to Michigan and we. We now see who Mich- everyone, well, we already knew. We've been telling people since February. Everyone else is starting to see who Michigan is. Kyle, quick Michigan aside. They're playing Illinois this week. Have you seen the spread on that game? Hey, Jared. <laughs> Illinois favored by 15. 15 points. That's where it opened anyway. I don't know if it's moved, but it opened at 15. Wow, indeed. Not a discussion with Michigan here. I mean, I'd take Michigan plus 15. I, I might too. I like Illinois. I don't know uh, if I like him that much. Well, let's get back to Michigan here. Do they stay in B tier no. with their loss to Washington or moving down to C tier? We have to remember Washington's not a good football team this year. Nope. I I know that this was this was a re this was a redo of the national championship last year, but both of these teams have received insane overhauls since then. Neither of them have their quarterbacks. Both of them or neither of them have their head coach. Both of them lost an insane amount of talent. These are both bad teams. We've never had Washington anywhere near B tier this year. Michigan goes down to C tier. Yes. Here, Kyle, never I, interrupt me when I'm when I'm ripping on Michigan. <laughs> this is this is just a repeat thing. This is like three weeks in a row, row now, and it's going to be four weeks in a row when um, this time next week here, Michigan's offense is bad. Yeah, it's bad here. They barely broke a hundred yards to Washington, which Washington they should be able to throw over no. over Washington here. But Michigan, Michigan can't throw Michigan, against anybody. They, they cannot. If if you're do they have a Big third Ten quarterback team, on that roster? If you're any Big Ten team left that plays Michigan this year, eight in the box, nine in the box, uh, eleven. All every game, every play. Eight, nine in the box. Eight, nine up within five yards of the line of scrimmage. Every play. If you are not, if you, if you're not, you're hurting yourself. The only reason why Michigan actually made a bit of a comeback in that game. They They have have Jack Jack. Tuttle. Yeah. They tried to. He was 10 for 18 and didn't even throw for a hundred yards. If you watch that game, which I did. They brought in. Or- orgy was terrible. Uh, Washington mm-hmm. got out to a lead, which was n- not super expected. You know, I expect Michigan's defense to play well at the beginning of games. But Washington got out to a 14 nothing lead. They bench Orgy. They bring in Tuttle. And for some reason, Washington was like, oh, shit. Tuttle's back in. And then they took people back out of the box for some reason. And I'm watching it. I'm like, what the fuck are you guys doing? You don't got to respect Tuttle like that. And then Michigan started ripping off some runs. Then they got smart and they put everyone back up in the box and then they won the football game. It was was that first drive in the second half. It was like one or two drives, yeah. Well, the first drive was when Michigan scored that touchdown, but then after that, nothing. Yeah. Nothing. So, yeah, Michigan goes down to the C tier. All right, so Army Navy Kyle. But, but before we get into that, let's take our second quick ad break here. Mentioned before, we'll say it again: the sloopcast.com, all of the links that you'll um, want to get to to our Patreon, the Discord, YouTube, our merch store, Spotify, all of the lovely links. The sloopcast.com, your main page to all of your sloopcast needs. So we'll go ahead and take that second ad break and be right back. Oops, they went to the wrong screen again. I'm so good at going to the wrong screen. All right, right. Army Navy. Army Navy. Bump them up. 
Okay. All right, let's do it. Screw it. Let's have fun. I don't know if either of them's really played anyone to this point, if we're being honest, but screw it. Let's have some fun. First time since 1945, I believe is the year that both Army and Navy are undefeated this far into the season. Now, I will remind everybody that in 1945, Army and Navy could draft people. <laughs> they literally could get anyone they wanted. <laughs> there was a draft on in 1945. Oh, that, that's a good point, Esquire. Because, yeah, 1945 was a good year for the Army and Navy worldwide. They they weren't just winning football games. They were kicking Nazi ass in 1945. Whew. Uh, that, was, that was a fun combo. Um, <laughs> wow. Invented Army has, the air raid. Army- Army has only <laughs> Army has only let up forty nine points. Wow. Ohio State Ohio State's let up thirty four. I'm just I'm just going down the list here real quick. Um, is there anybody who had less? Texas thirty five. Mm. Or Tennessee four and then Tennessee forty seven. Ole Miss forty five. One of the many vets in our Discord server, Mister Stewart down there in the chat is enjoying the army talk <laughs> all right who, who else do you want to talk about to potentially bring up to b tier jared texas a&m big yeah. win over missouri they Absolutely. lost to notre dame it, it needs to be said that some of their struggles were due to not having their stored their starting quarterback who they got back this week which mm -hmm. could yeah. So, you know, obviously you see an offensive explosion from Texas A&M. Oh, yeah, they got their quarterback healthy again and playing. Um, I, I think it's yep. going to be. Yep, bring them up. Yeah, bring them uh, up. I, they're worth watching. They're worth watching. Yep. I see you have South Carolina. Uh, that that's that's what we call that in the industry mistake. OK, that's a mistake. Uh, Rutgers. Rutgers with their first loss there of the yeah. year to Nebraska, 14 to seven, which that seven points came late in the game too. Yeah. 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 I don't think really Arizona belongs there either, but we should talk about West Virginia. Oh, West Virginia. They're in the big 12 here. They beat Take Oklahoma me road. state. Take me they home. Oklahoma state country roads to the place. I belong. West Virginia. Mountain three two. They are three and two, losing to Penn State and Pitt. They they don't like Pennsylvania at all. Uh <laughs> but undefe uh, but undefeated in the Big Twelve, which is yeah. the the important thing. The that's the important thing here. Who do they play uh, next? They play? That's a, uh, we we talked about this already. <laughs> Uh, that would be Iowa State. Yeah, I think that's a that's a that's a sneaky good game. I don't know. It, 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 I don't. The, I don't know if the game, casuals know how how good of a game that might be. Yeah, you win this game, you go up to B tier. So they stay right there, right there where you have them, right there, next in line to B tier. All right, I I I agree, but we're gonna give West Virginia some flowers for sure. Um. Anyone else I maybe forgot about Kyle that we should be talking about right now? Um, uh, let me let me let me go through my list here. So, um, chat also. What about Kansas? What about Kansas State? Iowa State, notably not Pennsylvania. Kyle, did you say Iowa State was in Pennsylvania? No, <laughs> I said they've lost to the two teams that they've lost to were in Pennsylvania. They don't oh. like Pennsylvania. And then, okay, I now understand what everyone's saying. Never mind. Shut up, Jared. Yeah, they they don't play teams well in West Virginia. I would say it's not West Virginia. Shut up. I'm about, I'm dumb. Don't worry about it. We move forward. Um, Kansas Kansas State. Uh, they were on they were on a bye week this week. 
Yeah. I mean, uh, they're in B tier. We're not moving them up to A tier by any means. Okay. Is there anyone in C tier that we should be talking about? Also, Texas so see- Tech is surprising me. Should we be, be should we be looking at Texas Tech? Why should we be I don't looking know. at Texas uh, Tech? Because oh, Odin said something. I asked the chat, is there anyone in C tier we should be paying more attention to that maybe we forgot about? And it's just I saw Texas Tech's name in the in the chat. That's all. They are three and oh in the Big Twelve, five and one overall. Their own losses against uh a pack two opponent. Okay. Who are their wins against? Uh, Some FCS, North Texas, Arizona State, Cincinnati, and Arizona. Well, Arizona's a decent win. Cincinnati's not a bad win. Did you say Cincinnati? Cincinnati. That's not a bad win either. You you know, 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 being being 3-0 in the Big 12, I would say yes. I would say yes to up to B tier. Didn't see that coming. Didn't, nope, didn't, I do not either. didn't start the podcast today thinking I was going to move Texas Tech up into B tier. Arizona State, not bad either. I'm going to, I'm going to stop you on that one. I All think right. I, I, <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm looking at other undefeated teams to talk about here, Jared. I, I'm going to go to the Big Ten. Okay. Oh, never mind. We, yeah. we have them there. They're there. Never mind. Uh, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I, you were talking about Indiana or Illinois. They are I notably did. already in B tier. Yep. We're good. Yeah, uh, I really wanted to move Rutgers we, up, but they won their game. Oh, well. I think that's or they it. lost their game, I rather. I don't have anybody else to, to bring up here. Okay. Um, anyone belong? Indiana versus Nebraska will be sweet. I agree. Um, anyone else? All right, M tier. Kyle, I think Oklahoma State was considered a favorite to win the Big 12 this year. They were. Uh, at least among the favorites. And they have fallen apart. We're, we're talking full-blown Oklahoma State face plant. Start, started 3-0, started 3-0 to start this season. Yeah. And then their first three Big 12 opponents. Bad And they losses. lose all three. And and a couple Utah, of them were ugly. Well, well, hold on, hold on. Bad losses. Well, so they lost by three to Utah. Right. Uh, yeah, they lost by twenty-two to Kansas State. Yeah. And they lost by twenty-four to, Vir- to West it. Virginia. I want to do it. Let's do it. All right. Oklahoma high expectations. State. High expectations, and they 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 fell flat. Yeah, I would agree. Michigan. Defending national, we we knew Michigan was going to be bad, but the AP and apparently everyone else still thought they were like a top fifteen football team. And they still have a they still have them at top twenty five team. Yeah, because voters like uniforms. Should we wait until the Illinois game? Yeah, let's let's wait. Okay. Let's wait. And th- we'll, 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 I'm, I have a feeling we're going to move him down next week. We're, yes. we're, we're going to save that we're, one. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to, we're going we're gonna, to, we're going to have some fun next week. <laughs> All right. Any other candidates? No. I, to I'm, move? I'm looking. I'm looking here. I'm looking at all of the standings here. Who fell flat so far this season here? I think we're. Other than Florida, other than Florida State. And Oklahoma State. In Oklahoma State. Uh who who else is like Ofer to to start the year that was really really surprising? Uh, I don't I don't I think that's it. That's it, yeah. All right. I think that's it, yeah. I think this is our tier list for this week. Yep. So Ohio State, Texas, we have in the S tier. Then A tier we have tier. Georgia. Yep. A tier we have Georgia, Oregon. Penn State, Boise State, BYU, Notre Dame, Miami, Alabama, Tennessee, and Iowa State. I, the Big Twelve getting two teams in there. Didn't see that one coming. I don't. We'll see if it yeah. holds up. Uh, notably, just gonna say this in case there's some new eyes this week. 
There has to be 12 teams in the top two tiers collectively, but there's no restrictions on specifically how many is in each tier. Um, I was going to say something. Oh, yeah. And they're not in any sort of order. We're not saying Ohio State's better than Texas. We're not saying Alabama fell below Boise and BYU and all that. They're not in any particular order. We do sometimes order C tier a bit just to keep the better teams on the left to keep our... That's just for our own brains. That's that's not actual rankings. Um, all right. Kyle, I think that's it. I think that's I think that's the end of the show. Yeah, I think so. Do you have anything in Kyle's corner? Uh, not really. <laughs> I I really don't. The Columbus Crew, the Columbus Crew are moving on to the playoffs. I think they secured, nice, nice. I believe, I believe the the second seed. I believe the second seed. So nice. Um. Crew to the playoffs. Uh, we did our first Bleacher Report stream of the year, which that is still up on Bleacher Report. You can go check that out. That was a live stream we did. Um, additionally, we're going to be doing another Bleacher Report stream uh, this week. And then uh, right after the game, directly after the game, and we'll be doing yet another one after the Nebraska game. So you can jump on the Bleacher Report app. You can actually find us. I think you can find us by like searching Sloopcast. I'm not 100% sure how that works yet. They kind of have a quasi social media thing going over there. It's 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 actually pretty neat. I've been ever since they reached out to us, I've been checking it out. It's actually kind of neat what they're doing over there. Um but and I'm not being paid to say that for the record. And we are we are being paid to stream over there. For the record, I'm not being paid to plug the app. I Those are le- my legitimate feelings. Um, but yeah, just uh, check out the check us out on the Bleacher Report app directly after the Oregon game and again directly after the Nebraska game. So those are some additional plugs at the end of the show. Just to, I guess, do a quick Jared's corner. Um, all right, Kyle, uh, we good? We good. All right. Tonight's ending music will be by a, I'll just say an Ohio based band uh, called uh, Annabelle, A N N A B E L. Uh, The name of this song is The Fortunate Ones. So, with all that being said, I'd like to encourage everyone to drink local beer, listen to local music, and of course, support your local podcasters. Once again, this is Annabelle.